All right, this is 3.11 number 17, related rates. So you have a bug on a parabola. You don't need to know what the parabola looks like, but just to give you a feel for what's going on in the problem, I am going to draw a parabola. Looks, whoa, that's not very good. Oh, it fixed it for me. Thank you. It's so nice. There we go. And so there's a bug on this parabola. Should we make it a ladybug? Let's make it a ladybug. I like ladybugs. So we're gonna draw a ladybug. Whoa. And this ladybug's gonna have black spots. And this ladybug's gonna have a head. Are their heads black? I don't know what color. The head of a ladybug is. How many feet do they have? That's a cute ladybug, yeah? I like it. Okay, it's crawling on this parabola, this parabolic wire or something. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. At what point on the parabola are the X and Y coordinates changing at the same rate? So as you can see, as this bug moves, as he moves, he's moving horizontally and vertically. So his distance, this distance would be X and this distance would be Y. And they wanna know when those are changing at the same rate, okay? So as the bug moves, let me draw stuff here. That distance is y. And that distance we call x. So they want to know at what point are the x and y coordinates changing at the same rate? Because as it moves, both of those changes. So they want to know when dx dt equals dy dt. So this is how fast X is changing. This is how fast Y is changing. So they're changing at the same rate. You want them equal to each other. Hmm. So you need an equation that involves X and Y. I wonder what equation there is that relates X and Y. I wish I had an equation that relates X and Y. I guess I don't, I give up. This is too hard, right? No, they tell you y is x squared. They were so nice. They tell you y is x squared. And as the bug moves along this wire, don't you agree x is changing and y is changing? So x and y are functions of time. So they're both box, right? Well, the derivative of this left box is just dy dt because respect to time. The derivative of box squared is two box times the derivative of box. Oh no, how do I solve this thing? Um, I am so confused. Well, I'll tell you one secret. We know that dx dt and dy dt are the same. So I can replace either one of these with the other. So I'm gonna replace dy dt with dx dt. That's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna subtract dx dt from both sides. Then I'm gonna factor out a dx dt because they both have a dx dt. So this is just like I would do in algebra. I would set each of these equal to zero and there are my solutions. Right? So do I have two answers and what do those answers mean? I am so confused. So this is claiming if dx dt is zero, that's a solution, right? Well, 
What does it mean that dx dt is zero? That means x is not changing, right? But in the context of the problem, what does it mean that x is not changing? Okay, um, usually I would pause and have you think, but we're running out of time. That means x is not changing. If x is not changing, that means this bug is not moving, right? That's what it means. The bug's not moving, but this says the bug is moving. So it's not possible for dx dt to be zero. But it's true, if the bug stops moving, dx dt and dy dt are the same, they're both zero. So your only solution then is x is one half, that's not the answer. They want the x and y coordinates, but you know that y equals x squared, so y at one half is one half squared, so y at one half is one fourth, so our coordinates would be one half, one fourth, that's the location of the bug when dx dt and dy dt are exactly the same. All right, that's the answer for number 17.